Yeah. You're seated at six here. It's the lowest you've been seated here for a long time. Do you feel like you're the hunter <coughs> rather than the hunted now? Yeah, I mean, I definitely have less pressure this year or less to lose, you know. Um, I'm not a defending champion or any of that, so I, yeah, I mean, I should be able to play more freely and other guys are supposed to, you know, make their move or defend again and all these things. So, yeah, things are my, maybe a little bit more comfortable this year round, but at the same time, you know, maybe then the draw becomes tougher in the process, but, you know, um, I'm happy I'm, I'm back here. I'm happy I'm able to continue but this time around, I haven't been sick or anything for, for some time. My back's been in good shape since uh, since Hamburg, pretty much. No, you know, setbacks. And um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I feel good and uh, my, my confidence is there. I'm, I'm happy I play Brisbane, um, so I know where my game's at. And uh, I practice and now I'm just managing um, my energy and my, uh, my practice sessions, getting used to the conditions here. and. Um, yeah, can't wait for the tournament to start. Jordy, what are you hoping to get out of the change to a bigger racket? Um, I mean, it's the same like before. I just hope to play good tennis and be successful, really. Um, I've wanted to change for a number of years, um, but I kept on playing well in the slams and kept on playing well on the tour, and things were just going so well that I only did minor changes to my racket. So uh, since 2002, I haven't uh, fibbled around with the, the racket head size. So after Wimbledon this year, I, I finally had a bit more time and I was like, I'd like to do a initial test. I was going to do some more after the US Open, but uh, I wasn't in the mood for that. So I waited for uh, the end of the year and did some more testing there. And then now I've really putting, been putting a lot of hours on the racket and it feels good. And uh, I'm really looking forward to, to playing now with that racket here at the Australian Open as well, after playing Brisbane already. Is there still belief in you and other members of the top 10 that you guys can knock Novak and Rafa off their perches? Well, I think it's normal that they are considered, you know, the one and two favourites uh, for the tournament. And of course, we do believe we can knock them off, yes.